You are a real estate agent. You just don't know it yet. What do you mean? Look at that smile. You're a born salesman. Never thought I'd be in real estate. You think I can handle it? Every other divorced mom at my kid's school is a realtor. I think you can handle it. Honey, I still don't get why you want to see this house. The foundation is totally out of whack. I mean, the, the whole house is slanting down to that cliff over there. Uh-huh. Can you open the sliding door? Tell me again, where's the lake? Right there. And where's the summer camp? Right over there. I'll take it. Now, I am obligated to disclose that the previous owners were murdered in this house. Hello, doctor. I need a new pair of eyes because clearly mine aren't seeing straight. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I am ready to buy. Great. I'll get the paperwork. Brian, five sales this week. You're killing it. Yeah. And last night I closed another big deal. Kim in marketing. <laughs> what are the specs? Here, you're really on fire. Thanks. I guess I should stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. The only thing is, anyone can sell a nice house, but a real star is someone who can sell a dump. All right, sounds good. It's a plan. Hey, did I tell you about Kim and marketing? You mean my wife, Kim? I'm gonna go sell that condo. Guys, this is on me. I just hit 20 years in the air and I got a big bonus. It's sad when planes explode. Whoa, what? I didn't know you worked out at this gym, too. Uh, hey, Brian, hang on. I'm just finishing a set. Come on, come on, two more. Come on, come on, you gotta want it. What's this? That is the money you loaned me. Oh, that's pretty cool. Thanks. You're welcome. I just wish I could do something more for you. All I can say is, underpriced waterfront property that's guaranteed to appreciate in value. That's all I can say. Oh, wait, are, are you bothered by sorority noise, though? What are you thinking about? Thinking about putting black guy hair in a ponytail, because the times change, but I don't. Nestled somewhere between the ocean and your imagination. The ceiling is a pool. The ceiling is a pool. Quagmire, you gotta get this. I don't know about buying a place without seeing it first. Of course not. I wouldn't expect you to. Do you like Lou Sheridan? I hate Lou Sheridan. It's Lou Sheridan. That son of a bitch! Say what you want, but he's got an eye for real estate. Let me just give him a call and let him know he's going to get the place. Wait, 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 wait. There's a good cost analysis comparison that I think we'll be able to utilize as we move forward in the next fiscal year. Hey, guys, I got to leave. I got a nosebleed, and uh, I don't work here. I'm a millionaire, show's a war hero, and Cleveland is Magic Johnson. I own a lot of theaters. I hope you don't know much else about me. It's probably nothing, but there's a stain on the rug in the shape of a little kid. I don't know if you want this now, but I bought you a mini cactus. Damn it, Brian screwed me! Yeah, that's why I've never made any major investments with my dog. What am I gonna do? I sank my entire bonus into this place! Here it is. You've got 72 hours after closing to rescind the purchase. State law. Thank God. Gotta go tell Brian the deal's off. I'm still within 72 hours, and I want to get out of my contract. You'd have to speak to Mr. Griffin about that, but I'm sorry, he's not in the office. Where the hell is he? You can drink from these and then put them on your head to be a clown from an Italian opera. Look, Mr. Griffin's not here, but if you leave your name, I'll let him know you stopped by. <sighs> Fine. Glenn Quagmire. Have him call me the minute he gets in. Okay, Rupert, we're going to play a game. I'm going to be Buffalo Bill, and you're going to be a great big fat person. Welcome home. Look, if you're not happy with your current property, we could roll your money over into something in sinkhole estates. Those places are going very fast, though. And you're the only guy in town who's ever called me out on my crap. You know, I used to hate you for it, but now I think you're the only person who was trying to be my friend. You're honest and direct and compassionate. And that is 72 hours. Enjoy your crap, old dumbass. You son of a bitch! Yeah, it was a lot tougher than I thought. Oh, yeah, it's real hard being a real estate agent. I mean, you gotta be able to count bathrooms. Oh, come on, guy, give me a break, huh? I've had a rough day. You've had a rough day? You guys wouldn't believe the day I've had. And it looked like it was gonna start to rain. Luckily, it didn't. And, like, that wasn't enough. Then we had a pop quiz in history. Uh, oh, European history. Uh, American history. Was uh, uh, then... I'm the network that brought you your sunscreen in two days. Hi, Chris. How was school? Wait, what's that note pinned to your backpack? Oh, dear. It's from Principal Shepard. Peter, he wants to see us first thing tomorrow. Oh, Chris is in trouble. Sounds like he needs a little fatherly wisdom. Well, that's very disappointing. 
I guess your father and I will have to talk to the principal and figure out how to handle this. Ah, I wouldn't worry, Lois. I never did very well in school either. I even failed homeroom. Thank you for coming, Mr. and Mrs. Griffin. Chris seems to be struggling in his classes, and often when kids have trouble in school, it's because something is going on at home. Well, right now he has a D minus average. His only hope is his history final tomorrow. If he fails that, I'm afraid he'll have to repeat ninth grade. Don't worry, I'll make sure Chris passes history. You can count on me. The same way NASA counted on me during the Apollo 13 crisis. All right, Chris, you got a lot riding on this history exam tomorrow. I know. Sam Cooke didn't know much about history, and he got shot in a hotel wearing nothing but a sports coat and a shoe. That way you'll have no choice but to hit the books. Dad, it looks like some girl sent you a picture of her private. Wait a minute, that's both her hands. Who the hell is taking the pictures? Ah! All right, give me that phone and get back to work. And before you judge your mother, you did most of that damage. Hey, Chris, just wanted to see how the studying's going. You guys, I've been at this all night and I haven't learned a thing. Here, I'll quiz you. Who said we have nothing to fear but fear itself? Scooby-Doo? No. Shaggy? It's nobody on Scooby-Doo. I'll end up being one of those bus drivers that parents don't completely trust. God, poor Chris. He's studying as hard as he can, but it doesn't seem to matter. Well, we gotta do something. If he doesn't pass this test, he's gonna have to... Hey. Maybe there's a way to actually show Chris history with my time machine. You know, that's really nice of you, Stewie. Well, he's my brother. We've got to stick together, like that two-headed girl on TLC. All right, we'll just tell Chris he's dreaming because I don't want him to know about my time machine. Why not? Yeah, it's like having a pickup truck. Once people know you got one, there go your weekends. You're dreaming with consequences. What? That's right. We're going to take you on a special dream trip to help you pass your history test. So what was the cause of death? Cocaine and severe trauma to the colon. Yeah, I'm going to need to see those forms. All right, I've got the return pad and the time machine is powering up right now. We should be leaving any moment. Oh, hey, come on, guys. <laughs> Who built what is not a question on the history final, right? <laughs> Good point, Brian. That's why victory is always Brian's. Now, the man at the podium is Thomas Jefferson, and this is a very important moment. He's trying to convince Congress to approve the Louisiana Purchase. Excuse me, Mr. Hemingway, can I have a beer with you? Sure! I love life and all the people in it! Australia before the shark tooth necklace. Oh my god! Nine, nine! No fire! It's good! I'll Hooters! Here we are, Christmas night, 1776. Those are water wings. He was terrified of the water. Easy! Okay, time for some recent history. This is the 1990s. Hey, Pavlov, you dog-teasing dick! How's this for positive reinforcement? <laughs> <laughs> Where to next? I want to kill more scientists! All right, Chris, that was the British Parliament, 1912. Next, we... I say, that looks like a young Charlie Chaplin. You just gave money to Hitler. Yeah, but before all the crazy stuff. All right, Chris, let's discuss what you've learned so far. Now, what is your biggest takeaway from our travels? Did you ever consider the reason you're having trouble passing ninth grade is that you're incapable of anything else? That this is the absolute zenith of your ability? Like you're at a hotel when you're not at a hotel. Have a romantic drink by the Concourse Fountain. Or you can watch the big game at Chopper's Bar and Grill, where they'll be pouring till 2 a.m. My God, that's terrible about Haiti. We gotta do something to help. No, we don't. Relax, I'm sure Wyclef Jean has got it all under control. I'm gonna start a blood drive. Good for you, Lois. You'll be a local hero, like Paul Revere. The British will be here soon. I mean, oh, shoot, I've got the horse. I mean, but if anyone else wants to go... I'll go! No one? All right. I'll make sure everyone remembers your names! Wow, Lois, you really got a great turnout for the blood drive. Oh, yeah, the whole thing's going off without a hitch. Except for that mosquito who keeps trying to sneak in. I'm gonna go ahead and thank you for donating blood today. Donating? I thought we were getting paid! <laughs> That's still you, Peter. Oh. Well, if I gotta donate, he's gotta donate too. You, get in here! Ha <laughs> ha, shucker! Son of a bitch! Stewie, what's going on? You should be asleep by now. I can't sleep, Brian. Where's the woman? I need her to read me a bedtime story. 
Well, she's busy with a blood drive. George used to be a curious monkey, but after a month in captivity, all he did was wait for food. The zoo people wanted him to mate, but he lost interest in that, too. Counting sheep, thinking sleepy thoughts, I even hired the Sandman. Sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and good night! Hmm. Oh, so this is what Lil Wayne keeps almost dying from. Oh, this is so relaxing. I could get used to this. Like the way I got used to wearing European diapers.